Hey pals, welcome back to the first of a week-long series of Action Force Series 2 reviews. Uh, we're starting with uh, what I consider to be the most anticipated figure from Series 2B, Desert Rat. And as you can see, he comes packaged in classic Palatoy Action Force uh, packaging. A nice homage to the original Desert Rat figure from the early 1980s in 3 and 3 quarter inch scale which itself was based upon uh, a 12 inch action man figure. So this particular character, this particular action figure, uh, lots of historical uh, relevance and, and significance with not only Action Force, but also Action Man and by extension, G.I. Joe. Now let's start off with a nice close up of the figure here. First impressions, uh, oh my God, this looks just like Tony from Analog Toys. And as it's supposed to, and we'll talk about that uh, later in this review. Um, I consider this to be a more modern um, um, military uh, fatigues that you would have saw in, uh, say, Afghanistan or Iraq, those campaigns. Um, and the body mold appears to be based on that of Duster with the um, uh, pants over the boots and also the plate carrier vest the same as dusters just molded in uh, more desert fashion here uh, lots of neat accessories on here exclusive to this figure including the uh, neck scarf that is removable you'd have to pop the head off to get that off and you know, we'll, we'll look at all the the weapons here in just a few moments he does have a, a med kit strapped to his leg here he has the same belt that the duster figure came with with a holster on the belt rather than on uh, the the, uh, the leg Flip them around here, uh, the antenna, the communications array, there's the uh, uh, walkie-talkie on the front there. Neat uh, paint applications here on the belt. He does have additional magazines for his uh, firearm, which I think is an M4. I'm not a, uh, a military ordnance expert, but I believe that's an M4. And uh, this, uh, this sleeve tattoo here on his right arm, that is authentic, again, this figure is based off uh, a living, breathing person, and uh, that looks really cool. I, I wonder how they pulled that off. I don't know. Uh, and I think I watched the uh, uh, one of the production videos on this, and I, that's just incredible. Uh, you'll note the Union Jack there on his, his vest. He does have uh, a knife. Saddles into this sheath right there, and we'll just have a quick look at his firearms. Here's... I think this is the same um, pistol that came with Duster, the same style at any rate, and that goes right in here, like so, okay, and this is a, a firearm I don't think we've seen before, the magazine is removable, molded in, in desert colors, I think it's based off Tony's actual uh, firearm he used in Iraq and as with all Action Force figures uh, Tony does come with a, a jubilee uh, of different uh, hands uh, this this line series 2a and 2b much easier to manipulate the, the wrist joints on those he also comes with a backpack nice long peg on there and I think this looks really good he also comes with a stand he doesn't need it no Action Force figures actually need these stands which is fine with me because I can use these for my, my G.I. Joe classified figures was absolutely need stands to be able to stand up and not wake me up in the middle of the night. Uh, the uh, Action Force figures could survive an earthquake and not fall over. Uh, so uh, uh, I'm happy to uh, let maybe Gung Ho and Roadblock uh, stand on this stand for now. I've got more stands on the way. That'll happen after Joe Fest. And uh, this series of reviews for these Action Force figures is happening in tandem with the, the Joe Fest convention in Augusta, Georgia right now. Um, sorry, I couldn't be there. But uh, I'm there in spirit. That's what I uh, uh, said to someone on the internet last night. I'll be there in spirit. All right. So uh, overall impressions of the figure itself, no issues with stuck joints on this figure. All the, the, the joints are moving quite freely and, you know, very... Very poseable, very articulate, as we've grown to expect from Valiverse. Uh, this is a joy 
to play with, which is kind of weird saying since I know this this guy, uh, but it's true. It's a, this is, a, like I said, probably the most highly anticipated figure from Series 2B. This is a Valiverse exclusive, by the way. You can only get this through the Valiverse store. This isn't available through any of the other uh, retailers. And um, pretty sure these will be back in stock very soon if they're not already in stock now. Uh, incredible figure, folks. And um, like I said, highly sought after, probably especially among subscribers to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Uh, this figure is based upon the likeness of one Tony Roberts, who um, produced uh, one of the most comprehensive documentaries about Action Man, which was the British counterpart to G.I. Joe, the 12-inch line from the 60s and 70s. And um, Tony is also a combat veteran, a real-life G.I. Joe, who served uh, in the armies of two countries, Australia and England, and Special Air Service, which is the British equivalent to Action Force. And I'm not exaggerating there, folks. SAS is elite special forces. So, it makes perfect sense that based on those criteria alone, uh, that Tony would be deserving of being immortalized as an action figure, as a G.I. Joe, per se. And... Frankly, I can't think of anyone more deserving for the honor. Um, military service aside, you know, fighting real-life Cobra commanders and real-life Serpentors and all the actual Cobras and Red Shadows and Swarm Hives of the world, he's also uh, introduced vintage Action Man and G.I. Joe to an entirely new audience, a younger audience. Now, I hesitate to use the word authority in saying that, that Tony is an authority on Action Man and Action Force, uh, because I think Tony would refute uh, being called an authority on this subject. However, I don't know anyone who has as much knowledge about those uh, particular toy lines. So I say again, I can think of no one more deserving of the honor of plastic immortality. And, uh, you know, I think it's just great. At the risk of, of stepping on viewers' machismo, I think it's actually really sweet. And I know there's some jelly bellies out there that uh, can't seem to understand why they haven't been immortalized as an action figure. And, and, and I say to them, you know, fight in a couple of wars and uh, uh, produce some documentaries about uh, military-themed action figures. And, you know, who knows? Uh, maybe you'll be deserving of an action figure as well. So, that, folks, is my review of the Desert Rat action figure. Like I said, I've been really, really looking forward to this, and I think a lot of people have. And uh, I can't stress enough how much this looks like Tony. I, I don't know if they just took a picture of this guy and, and sculpted the face, or if there was some sort of 3D digital rendering technology involved, but it's, it's a good match. And, uh, like I said, I think this will be the, uh, the uh, most popular figure in uh, Series 2B. So there he is, and you can get yours at uh, valiverse.com uh, when they go back in stock, which might happen after Joe Fest. All right? Well, thanks so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you again real soon.